All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich. You know what this is. It's another mom story. Salute to everybody listening. Salute to the new subscribers. Salute to the trolls. Endrangheta. Everybody has a different pronunciation for Endrangheta. Somebody goes, it's Endrangheta. 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 That's how I'm saying it from now on, and that's it. Okay. Detroit Siggy, I just seen your post, no show. I got to work on these stories and do other things, and I got to get out of here early, buddy. We'll be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Salute to my boy Detroit Siggy, who's locking it down right now. All right, let's get down to business. This is about the Inzarello Gambino probe and the arrests that were made uh, in Italy and in New York and in, uh, what, I think Jersey or Philadelphia? I'm not sure. But again, salute because uh, Shattered find these articles and then, you know, we got to translate them. So don't uh, get too crazy on the wording because it's translated from Italian and I guess the algorithm does the best job it can, right? So what it is is the mafia dismissed appeals unredeemable in prison. Uh, What they're trying to say is Francisco. Inzarello, Giovanni Buscemi, and Rosario Gambino have tried to appeal the fact that they're in jail, but they will all remain in jail. The review court rejects the appeals of Francesco and Tommaso Inzarello, Giovanni Buscemi, and Rosario Gambino. (laughs) And it's, okay, the wording again, don't get too crazy. The prosecution of the prosecutor's office that coordinated the investigation into the Mafia di Paso di Rigano, I'm sorry, into the Mafia of Paso di Rigano is being prosecuted. Now, there's a little brief history on Giovanni Buscemi and the other gentlemen that are locked up, okay? So, his judicial history began in 1994 when he was already a loyalist to Totorina. After a period of inaction, Buscemi had been sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Giovanni Giordano, whose body had been dissolved in acid. The sentence to life imprisonment in April 2018 was commuted to him in 30 years of detention. Francisco Inzarello, 63, one of the sons, is also in prison. The other is Rosario of Giuseppe, who survived the Mafia War of the 1980s. Brother Totuccio was one of the first to fall under the blows of the Corleones. Francisco Inzarello had always emerged unscathed from the investigation. In 1988, he was involved in the Iron Tower operation and was acquitted in 1999 of the crime of Mafia Association. In 1997, he was expelled from the United States and arrested upon his arrival in Rome. In 2006, he was again in prison in the Gotha Blitz and sentenced to 10 and a half years. Also, of course, Rosario Gambino, 77 years old. In 2014, he returned to Palermo after 55 years of life in America. Gambino, Joseph Gambino's nephew, the chief of the American mafia, had made his fortune overseas but remained there for 25 years. Tommaso Inzarello, nicknamed Tommy Uscarpuni, cousin of Francisco, 70, remains in prison. In 1980, they found him in Santo Domingo, where he had taken refuge to escape the arrest warrant signed by the investigating Judge Giovanni Falcone for conspiracy to export currency and sell drugs. So basically, these three men have been arrested and their appeals have been rejected. And they were giving a little bit of history on each of these gentlemen. So salute to Shattered. Thank you for the article. Again, we are translating this from Italian to English. So, you know, mind the language, the wording, because it's the best translation we can get, right? So salute to everybody. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, share, subscribe.